Hello everyone, Jeroen van Erp here, Product Manager at Stack State. I want to quickly showcase how you can get full observability of all your SUSE Rancher managed clusters. All SUSE customers can now easily increase reliability and empower their engineers. Stack State offers a modern observability platform that offers powerful Kubernetes troubleshooting capabilities for development teams. So let's dive in. What you see here is the SUSE Rancher interface. And what I've done is I've spun up two Rancher RKE2 clusters. If we look at these clusters, what I've done is I've actually installed from the SUSE Rancher marketplace, the Stack State agent. It's available now for all SUSE customers. You can easily manage uh, your Rancher cluster and install the Stack State agent directly from this marketplace. And once you do that, within five minutes, you see all of your Kubernetes resources for all of your clusters in Stack State. And in Stack State, where you typically start out with is the service overview. You see all the services that are deployed to the Rancher RKE2 cluster zero and one, our two clusters. So, but instead of just looking at these cards and seeing the orange, red, and green. What you can also look at is how these services are actually interacting with each other. We offer a service dependency map. And what you can see is how these services are actually interacting, but not only within the cluster, within the namespace, but also across clusters. What you see is that the orders service that is deployed is actually talking to services that live in a different cluster. The shipping and payment service are actually part of the other cluster. So Stack State is actually able to see all these relationships, to see all those communications wherever they go. And then what Stack State offers is powerful Kubernetes troubleshooting. What we see is that there is a problem in this cluster. There are red and orange components. If we would start out here at the front end, we'll open its component view to see its details. And we see that uh, now and then it turns orange. We're currently at uh, this point in time, in this orange time frame. And if we look at the monitor, uh, the alert basically that's triggered, we see that there's a 500 error ratio that keeps on spiking up. In stack state, what we're able to detect is that a problem is not on its own. This front end service does, isn't the only component in this cluster in the, that has a problem of this application. There are other components that are in trouble. So we see that the ingress service is in trouble. The catalog service also has an elevated error ratio. The ingress has high response times, but if we look closely in our topology, we see that the deepest component is actually the pod. The catalog pod is, has triggered its restarting monitor. So if we dive into this monitor, we see that uh, it became orange at some point in time because Stack State detected that this pod restarted six, uh, multiple times in a short time frame. And the moment it's uh, restarted for the second time, we said, hey, there's something wrong with this pod. This keeps on restarting in a very short time frame. So what Stack State then offers is a remediation guide. Using this remediation guide, we can easily troubleshoot the issue at hand. So what we do is we go to the events section in the pod highlight page. Once I click that link, this remediation guide now hooks onto the right hand side of my screen so that it's always in context of my troubleshooting journey while I'm troubleshooting this problem in the SUSE cluster. What happened? I, it said, look at the events. So we see a number of alerts occurring. Yeah, there's quite a number of them. So let's have a look. If we look at uh, the specific time frame, we're at 622. We see that its health state changed. It became unhealthy because its liveness probe failed. If we look slightly back in time, and we see back offs, we see it being unhealthy, and then we see that it's OOM killed. And if we scroll further down, 
we see that there was another OM kill. So this pod is running out of memory. And if we correlate this with the metrics, now we can quickly find uh, there was an OM killed event here. So we can tag this time. And there was another OM killed event here. So let's also tag this time. And what you can now see is that at these points in time, uh, the CPU usage was okay. It wasn't being throttled, or at least not that much. But what did happen is indeed its memory went up, it spiked up, and then it went down. And this will also correlate with the restarting charts that we see here. So we see that this kept on being restarted. So using stack state, you can easily troubleshoot these issues by correlating all of the different kinds of telemetry that your Kubernetes cluster is producing. And we don't only gather the events, we don't only gather the metrics, but we also gather all the logs of your application. And if we then zoom into this time frame, then we probably see that it failed to execute the request uh, as an error, and it would have restarted. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a successful troubleshooting journey, and if there are any questions, feel free to reach out.